Assalamualaikum and hi. Today we are going to talk about the disease that has been spread last year which is 2019. It is called coronavirus disease 2019. It was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, the capital of China's Hubei province and has been spread globally resulting in an ongoing pandemic. As of 7th May 2020, more than 3.75 million cases that has been reported across 100 87 countries and territories resulting in more than 263,000 deaths meanwhile the people that has been recovered has been more than 1.24 million so we as a student of artificial intelligence have been researched about how AI can help the humanity to uh, fight this coronavirus disease there's a lot of application in AI we found uh, in order to fight the COVID-19. So we will be sharing to you guys seven of it that we have found uh, on the internet. Without further ado, let's go to the first uh, application that we can apply from the AI in this situation. So the first one is that the AI can help the humanity to get the early detection and diagnosis of the infection it is because AI can quickly analyze irregular symptoms or other red flags and thus alarm the patients and the healthcare authorities it also helps to provide faster decision making which is cost effective it also helps to develop a new diagnosis and management system for the COVID-19 cases through useful algorithm AI is helpful in the diagnosis of the infected cases with the help of medical imaging technologies like C uh, computed tomography which is CT and also magnetic resonance imaging which is MRI scan of human body parts. The next application of AI that we can uh, apply in uh, COVID-19 pandemic is that AI can help us to monitoring the treatment. AI can build an intelligent platform for automatic monitoring and prediction of the spread of the virus. A neural network can be also developed to extract the visual features of this disease and this will help in proper monitoring the treatment of the affected individuals. It has the capability of providing day-to-day -day updates of the patients and also to provide solutions to be followed in COVID-19 pandemic so this is where the AI help us and also help the frontliner to monitor the treatment of our patient uh, that has been positive uh, case of the COVID-19 cases next up AI also help the humanity help the authorities help the frontliner to contact tracing of the individuals AI can help analyze the level of infection by this virus, identifying the clusters and hotspots there, and can successfully do the contact tracing of the individual and also to monitor them. It also can predict the future cause of this disease and likely reappearance. In the nutshell, this, this context is that AI can help to uh, help the authority to analyze where and who and when the uh, the spread infection begin when the patient is positive with the coronavirus so it can help the authority to find where the potentially patient that has been uh, affected affected by the uh, disease next the projection of cases and mortality this technology which is AI can track and forecast the nature of the virus from the available data, social media, media platform about the risk of infection and its likely spread. Further, it can predict the number of positive cases and death in any region. AI can also help identify the most vulnerable regions, people and countries and take measures accordingly. This is because the AI has a lot of data so they can decide, they can analyze the data which one, uh, which group is more affected to the virus 
or which uh, regions that has been more affected how the condition that uh, play the main role to the spread of the virus the development of drugs and vaccine also AI can help the humanity to achieve that AI is used for drug research by analyzing the available data on COVID-19 it is useful for drug delivery design and development this technology is used in speeding up drug testing in real time where standard testing takes plenty of time and hence helps to accelerate this process significantly which may not be possible by a human it can help to identify useful drugs for the treatment of COVID-19 patients it has become a powerful tool for diagnostic test designs and vaccination development AI helps in developing vaccines and treatments at much faster rate than usual and is also helpful for clinical trials during the development of vaccine. AI also help to reduce the workload of the healthcare workers due to a sudden and massive increases in the number of patients in during COVID-19 pandemic healthcare professional has been has a very high workload AI is used to reduce the workload of the healthcare workers it helps in early diagnosis and providing treatment at the early stage using digital approach and decision science offer the best training to students and doctors regarding this new disease AI also can impact the future patient care and address more potential challenge which reduce the workload of doctors. Last but not least, AI also help the prevention of the disease. With the help of the real-time data analysis, AI can provide updated information which is helpful in the prevention of the disease. It can be used to predict the probable site of infection, the influx of the virus, need of beds and healthcare professionals during the crisis. AI is helpful for the future virus and disease prevention. With the help of previous mentored data over data prevalent at a different time, it identifies threats, causes and reasons for the spread of infection. In the future, this will become an important technology to fight against the other pandemics or epidemics. It can provide preventive measure and fight against many other diseases. In the future, AI will play a vital role in providing more predictive and preventive healthcare. So that's all from us about the application of AI in COVID-19 pandemic. So I hope you guys can have, can have a deeper understanding of how AI can help the humanity to fight against the pandemic or any disease that can be uh, approached us or incoming to us in the future. So hopefully we can apply this and create more advanced technology to help the humanity to fight against this kind of uh, disease. So that's all. Stay safe and stay home and thank you.